I would invite you to turn with me in your Bibles to Genesis chapter 20. Genesis chapter 20. Incidentally, I apologize in advance for the name that I determined to give the sermon. It came to me. Um, obviously, it, it's a play on uh, not only what happens, but uh, a movie title from the 80s or the 90s. I can't remember which it was. And not, a, not a movie series that I would recommend to you in any sense, but uh, one that... Um, Seemed to be punny at the time. But in any event, let's turn before our hearing of the word to the Lord who gave us this word. And let us ask for his blessing. Please join me. Sovereign Lord, as we come before you now, we pray, Lord, that you would quiet our hearts, that you would take away all of those uh, things that disturb our thoughts, all the distractions. We know that whenever your word is being preached that the evil one is at our elbow and he's always suggesting distractions, putting things in our minds that, uh, Lord, that will lead us away from growth and grace. Lord, he brings to mind grudges. He stirs up our children. He does whatever he can to make sure that we will not benefit. We find it easy to sit through three hours of, of movies, Lord, and yet we find it difficult to spend 35 to, to 45 minutes listening to your word. And the reason for that we know is that this is spiritual warfare. We enter the battle line whenever it comes to the means of grace. In order to obtain what we have uh, need of, it is like having to fight our way into the city of Jerusalem sometimes and take water from the well as the mighty men of David did. For